Choosing the right long-range rifle could mean the difference between spending a lot of money unnecessarily, or even worse, choosing a low-quality weapon that fails you when you need it most. Especially today when anyone in the gun business builds a thousand-plus yard rifle, it's more important than ever to make an informed buying decision. But you're in luck. Our decades of combined experience have been pooled together to bring you this list of seven incredible long-range rifle choices. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, allaboutsurvival.com. So let's go ahead and get started. Number 7. TC Sniper Chassis Rifle As a final rifle on this list of very workable long-range packages, the TC Sniper Chassis Rifle seals the deal here. I've been testing this rifle for almost a year, shot a pie of steel out to a thousand yards based on the 6.5 Creedmoor chamber in my test rifle, and it's also a rifle I've suggested as a workable in the varmint class of rifles as well regarding this publication. This rifle carries all the additional costs that can cost you many times more money than other brands currently on the market. The rifle makes use of a proven bolt-action system with a rotating lug locking system, a box magazine that is of military style, fluted barrel, and muzzle brake setup for a suppressor install. The TC Sniper is priced fairly as well. The rifle is one of the best buys on the firearms market today. Number 6. The Ruger Hawkeye 300 Win Mag the Ruger Hawkeye 300 is the second Ruger I would recommend as a great rifle to accurately send the mail to 14 to 1500 yards. Chambered in the new US military selected sniper round of the 300 Win Mag, this is the complete package in a long range rifle that is stocked in a more traditional style furniture. The Ruger carries a target grade trigger, which is adjustable, medium heavy barrel and muzzle brake, and is well fitting to a target style rifle stock. Using the Ruger-designed M77 Mauser style action with the Mauser Long style extractor, the rifle is a complete package in long-range operational accuracy. Number 5. The Barrett 107A1 50BMG Being we have covered the 50BMG as a long-range cartridge, the attention turns to still another rifle that is worldwide known among combat units as the long-range sniper rifle of all time. Used mainly as an anti-structure weapon, the Barrett Semi-Auto 107A1 is a good deal like many of the company's offerings, but a change-up in cartridge choice. Barrett offers these rifles or variants of them in everything from 6.5 Creedmoor, 300 Wind Mag, 300 Norma, through the Big 338 Lapua and the 416 Barrett. Barrett has the bases covered from 1,000 yards to 2 miles when and if required. Auto-loading from a box magazine, the rifle has the ability to get rounds downrange quickly if required. The Barrett MRAD. Here we have Barrett that has turned to a bolt action design and is such a slower but perfect for the sniper or sharpshooter wanting to take down a target with one well placed round. I've shot this rifle and it's all it's reported to be in terms of accuracy. The rifle is one of my favorite within the battery of Barrett types of weapons designs. Shooting an MRAD, by the way, of 338 Lapua rounds, being the choice of US Army long range snipers today, the fact is you own the valley as such. Number 4. The Steyr Arms HS50 When selecting the heavyweight and hard-hitting rifle for ultra-long range work, the first and the best being it has a cut rifled barrel, bolt action with a lock system like a bank vault, and has won every long-range award offered on the world stage. The German Steyr HS50 is a clear, super accurate winner. Shooting a 750 grain full metal jacket bullet, or a custom made and lathe turn bullet of even more weight, this rifle is the three mile wonder if necessary. However, for now, let's just say anything within two miles could be in big trouble if she brings her sights on rest on anything the gunner behind the buttstock wants to take out. I shoot the Steyr and bought into the rifle when it was far less expensive than it is today. Even though I can hand load bullets by the way of the company's outstanding reloading press setup, I tend to shoot surplus military ammo much of the time, and when I can find it on the open market as well. The rifle is not all nasty in terms of recoil. I tell people shooting a 50 BMG it's about like shooting a heavy 12 gauge slug off a bench rest when running rounds down range for a correct zero. The issue is, with the 50 at 27 pounds loaded weight, is that she tends to send a backwash blast that engulfs the shooter for a few brief seconds when fired. You feel a heat signature all around your body when firing this rifle. Nothing else comes anywhere close to this rifle's ability to tell you that she just went off. The rounds designed for the rifle are barricade busters and anti-aircraft light-skinned weapons terminating system. The 50 cal BMG Rafos MK211 round, by example, is designed to enter a building, move across the interior space to the center point, and explode, thereby sending hot metal into everything in the area. This is not your daddy's long-range rifle to be sure, 
unless he was a gunner on an A1 Abrams tank. Built with its own bipod of heavy metal, a fully adjustable buttstock, and a composite metal stock housing that houses a massive fluted 50 caliber barrel, the rifle wins the whole valley of setup for Overwatch, long range steel targets, or even standing guard over sheep on Coyote Watch. Ammunition for the rifle, government surplus, runs about $3.50 to $5 per round. This is far less than a Wildcat or upper end super velocity long range bullet offered in many other rifles and cartridges. I found surplus Israeli steel case cartridges for about $3 a pop. In my opinion, nothing can catch up to a 50 cal downrange. Number 3. The Hawa 1500 Selecting the Hawa 1500 Bravo rifle is like a no-brainer in observing a rifle that fits a need. It's at an affordable price and is state-of-the-art in terms of manufacturing methods and performance characteristics. This rifle is a chassis design and is set up for long-range target or game shooting. For the most part, the rifle is a static position rifle and is set up much like a standard issue chassis sniper rifle as used by various military operators in several countries. Hawa bases all their rifles on the well-known 1500 bolt action design that's so good that Weatherby has counted on it for many of their Weatherby Magnum offerings over the years. The Bravo was offered in 6.5 Creedmoor and 308 Winchester, but the basic 1500 series rifle can also be obtained from Hawa in a 300 Win Mag as well. This means that the bases are covered in terms of an effective rifle up to 1400 yards or more when selecting the Hawa brand Turnbolt rifle. Hawa offers the rifles with a scope package that is designed to fit the rifle and cartridge selection to perfection. I've run the 1500 as a scope package in long range testing and found everything that the manufacturer says it is as a very accurate long range gunning system. Number 2 SIG ARMS Crossover Rifle 277 Fury SIG ARMS is a rather newcomer to the rifle world, but rest assured it's moving up fast. Known for their AR lines of rifles, the company has come out with a new crossover Fury rifle in a bolt action that is built on the chassis frame not much larger than the AR platform used on the other SIG ARMS rifles. The key to the development of this rifle is that it's chambered in 308, 6.5 Creedmoor, and the very new and also yet to be released SIG 227 Fury. This is not just another cartridge, but a special round that uses a highly upgraded case that can withstand pressures above current SAMA standards because of the ed base section design. The bolt rifle is almost a look-alike to the AR platform, but the gas system is gone and replaced with a solid bolt-action repeater system as rounds are pulled up from an AR-style box magazine. Not to mention, at 6.5 pounds, it's one of the lightest in its class, making it very easy to carry on your back all day when on the hunt. The new 227 Fury is a hot round, and as such, is clearly quite capable of dealing with targets at a very long distance downrange. The rifle is priced very fairly, and it carries all the quality of the German company of SIG Arms. Number 1. The Ruger Precision Ruger broke the mold and entered the long-range rifle business with the introduction of the Ruger Precision Rifle. This rifle is not a standard bolt action, but it's a design from the trigger guard up that is unique to the chassis-style all-metal rifle that it is. Ruger has built several variants of the rifle over the years, and in short, the smaller calibers are built in a somewhat smaller frame than that of the heavies, giving you the option to modify based off of preferences. The Precision retains a folding buttstock for storage or transport, a button-drawn rifled barrel, rotating bolt head, and a full rail that can accommodate any sight systems in use today, making it easy to transport and customize for any use or body type. It's offered in 300 Win Mag, 300 PRC, and 338 Lapua Magnum, the rifle is a one-miler plus shooting system, but at a price tag that fits the budget of most working guys and gals. It's actually one of the second cheapest rifles on this list. Currently, I shoot the 300 PRC, 300 Win Mag, and 338 Lapua in this chassis design. Accuracy is solid and the rifles will send the 338 bullet to one mile with spot on accuracy when all of the dope has been factored correctly and applied to the selected projectile. The 300 PRS is a dead on 1500 yard rifle as is the 300 Win Mag based on the correct BC selected bullet. At the 100 yard mark, I shoot the same rifle in the 6.5 Creedmoor and again with very positive results. Let us know in the comments which rifle works best for you and why. Thanks for watching this video, and that's all for this one. If you found this video helpful in any way, please give it a huge thumbs up. Stay tuned for upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel. See you guys on the next one.